It's Chris Hislop from the Montana World Affairs Council with another episode of What, So What, Now What? The international affairs show where we connect you with an expert on the issue of the day. And in just five minutes, you become the expert. Today, we are reading the news about Montana Governor Greg Gianforte establishing a trade office in Taiwan. Big news for Montana, certainly. We're very lucky to have Brigitte Miranda Freer, who's the executive director of the Montana World Trade Center with us today to help us make some sense about this very interesting news. Brigitte, welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, Chris. How are you? I'm, I'm great. And I, I tell you, I'm really interested in this. Anytime I see things that connect Montana with the world, I, I want to know more. I wonder, Brigitte, if you could tell me and the viewers a little bit more about what this trade office is and what it does. Sure. And uh, you and me both, Chris, we're both in that bucket of uh, international matters relating to Montana. We're all in. Okay, so this trade office, it's actually kind of being reestablished. Montana used to have a trade office in Taiwan, and it's probably been 10 years or so since we had boots on the ground there. Um, but the new office is staffed by Mei Mei Wong and one other person. And uh, as I said, we'll have some boots on the ground as a state there. So Mei Mei will be working to showcase Montana products and services to the Taiwanese market. And um, on a more granular level, I mean, she, she attends trade shows on behalf of Montana. Uh, she will assist individual companies with their efforts to expand and find Taiwan, uh, Taiwanese importers or distributors or buyers for their product. Um, and I'm, she's actually going to help us a little bit as well on the foreign direct investment front, um, helping us to, to reach out strategically to some businesses that we think might be good partners for Montana, bringing in capital investment here into our state. Well, Brigitte, uh, unlike a lot of international news, this one directly connects with all of us here in Montana. I mean, it, it's not, uh, one doesn't have to reach to see the connection, but I wonder if you could help us understand a little bit more about what is the impact of opening an office like this and what might be the impact of yeah. the increased uh, international trade yeah. with Taiwan? So I think, and I was just checking uh, quickly before this session here, Chris, but over the last few years, um, on the trade side, I think as a state, our exports to Montana are somewhere in the range of 50 million or less. And then on the import side, somewhere anywhere in the range from 25 to 43 million over the last three years. Um, so we are actually exporting slightly more than we're importing from Taiwan. Uh, what we're selling to Taiwan looks like it's principally industrial machinery, some rare earth. These are broad classifications. They're part of the harmonized tariff schedule. Um, things in relation to uh, silicides, I think I'm saying that correctly. But And then on the import side, it really kind of varies. Um, but the purpose of establishing this trade office is to hopefully help us as a state increase those numbers. And, you know, it's worth noting, Chris, that those trade stats are just the hard goods, right? So there is also ample opportunity for Montana to be able to dive in here and establish some service exports to Taiwan, and they may can assist with that as well. All right. Very interesting. A lot of opportunity available. Now, um, you're talking about the exports primarily. You did mention imports. Does this office also facilitate then Taiwanese import into Montana? I don't think so. Um, I think that mostly when states are setting up trade offices, they're setting up to have a presence there to make the rest of the world or that particular country aware of the products and services that that particular state has to offer. Um, but that said, uh, it's important to recognize that there are two parts of this international trade equation, right? Imports and exports, and we need to have good partners on both sides. So Taiwan has been a reliable country from which Montana importers do get product uh, quite frequently, actually. So now to wrap it up, Brigitte, <laughs> looking ahead, what can we expect? What might be some possible effects or outcomes of the reestablishment of this trade office? Yeah, well, again, like I said, I know that the governor's administration and I, of course, um, uh, we're really hoping to see an uptick in some of those trade numbers. So our service and product exports to Taiwan, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. The pandemic has kind of dampened trade anyway, so probably we'll be on an upward trajectory. 
Um, and then I, I do think that we'll practically see some inbound trade delegations coming as a result of this when the pandemic lifts and we're able to do that kind of thing again. And we'll probably head over to Taiwan as well. I know that the Montana World Trade Center is keen to do outbound trade missions just as soon as we can. Uh, most excellent. Brigida, thank you so much for kind of making sense of this very important news for Montana, for Montanans, um, for our private sector, for our international trade. Much appreciated. And also want to quickly thank our very generous donors who make this and many other programs possible at the Dennis and Phyllis Washington, Washington Foundation, Allegiance and Stockman Bank. Brigida, thank you once again. And to all the viewers, thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks, Chris.